Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 6th through December 12th. So we're just going to see what comes up. I've decided that I'm going to do this reading a little bit different than I did the other ones because I like my regular spread. I like my regular spread, and I'm going to stick to that. So we're going to start right here for an overall energy. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini for the week of December 6th through December 12th? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One card, please. Here it is. Courage. Courage. You're going to need some courage this week by the looks of things. I think that you have all the courage that you need to succeed. I'm going to read what they have to say. Um... this because courage a man in armor holds a sword at his side ready to enter a dark forest this is a time of great personal strength for you whether you realize it or not you're ready to take a risk and attempt a new adventure if you've been thinking about taking a chance on something now is the time to do it face or face it Perhaps there's a challenge you'd like. I don't know why they don't put these all on one page. Perhaps there is a challenge you'd like to meet or something you've been longing to express. Let's get that zoomed back in first. Maybe. There we go. It may be time to go public about an interest you've been pursuing, even if you feel hesitant at first. <laughs> this card is telling you that the time is right. You are moving into an energetic cycle where you feel your strength more deeply. There is a core of power coming from your own eternal soul, and you can feel the boundless courage that always lies ready within your heart center. Breathe deeply and take that next step. Know that you can trust this core of inner strength to guide you in this exciting time. You are doing something exciting, Gemini, and I think you haven't been able to tell anybody. And I feel like you haven't been able to tell anybody because of fear of what everybody is going to say. This card is saying to have courage and go ahead and express it. Good luck with that. So, that's up to you, whether you want to do that or not. Uh, it looks like it's, you're saying to trust. Trust that the universe has your back. You know, this is exciting. Maybe you're meant to share it with people, you know. Um, I don't know. It's going to be your call. It's going to be your call. You know, there's armor on. Yeah, I think that you have what you need to defend yourself, okay. Um, be courageous. Okay, the universe is working in your favor by the looks of things. So one card for love life. What do we got? Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Flirt. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Maybe you need to flirt a little bit, you know, even if you're married. You know, flirting can make your relationship a little bit uh, more fun, okay? It can lead, you know, flirt uh, can lead to a whole lot more. So, that's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do. But I feel like this is a good week for you. Be courageous, okay? You will be successful. The universe has your back by the looks of things. You need to reveal something that you have been keeping, you've been keeping inside. Go ahead. Do it. If you dare. You know, if you dare. I mean, it could cause upheaval. It may cause it upheaval. But, it, you know, like the card said, I feel like you, you know, you have the um, support, you know, from the universe. Even if you don't have support from people. You have support from, you know, the universe or a higher power. The 
The devil reversed. Interesting. So this is about breaking free from an unhealthy situation. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. doesn't have to be. But um, the shadow side. The shadow side. That is the devil. That is a need to break free. A need to face your fears. Because the devil is ruled by ego. And ego is ruled by fear. So interesting. So yeah, you need to face your fears. You need to step outside of your ego and have courage. Yes, sir. So you may be self-sabotaging yourself as well. You need to get rid of that behavior. There could be some sort of unhealthy behavior that you've been repeating. You need to break that unhealthy behavior. I feel like you've been in some state of despair. You've been, you've been stuck to a situation, tied to a situation that is unhealthy. And I feel like there's some sort of anxiety about you, you know, that you have inside. You know, find your strength. You have the strength. This is a week of strength for you. It's a week of dealing with your demons, facing your demons. Ten of Wands. Two of Wands reversed. So there's definitely fear, right? The Two of Wands reversed. That's indecisive, unsure. You are tip. You are very unsure. I feel like you're unsure of what whether you should stay or whether you should go. Overwhelmed. I mean, the Ten of Wands is overwhelmed, carrying a heavy burden. You got a lot of weight on your back. You know. Um, looks like you're looking at breaking free, though. You're looking at an unhealthy situation. You know that you're strong. You know that. You can handle this, but I feel like there's some sort of procrastination here. You know, with that two of wands reverse, that there's fear of change or fear of the unknown, you know? I feel like, uh, I don't know, there's, there's uh, choosing the safest option, right? You've been choosing the safest option. It's time for you to let go of something you need to let go of probably fear by the looks of things um you've been carrying some sort of heavy burden you're holding on to something that you need to let go of um, somebody may be manipulating you you know you may be you may be fearful of somebody's reaction you know um there could be some travel in the future or maybe i don't know two of wands reverse maybe you're you're, you're, you're definitely thinking, you know, you may be thinking the grass is greener on the other side, or you may be planning something, but you're delaying your plans. You know, you, there's delays, there's some sort of delay here. And I feel like you you're trying to, uh, get to wherever you're going before you, uh, do something, you know, before you, before you, let everybody know what it is that you're doing. You want to get to the other side. You want to get there first, you know. Um, page of Swords, Reverse, Conflict. You, you, I feel like there's, there's, there's conflict. You may be dealing with somebody that is younger than you that um, it's hard to talk to. This is somebody that has a tendency to stick their nose in where it doesn't belong. I think that there's that, that you don't want any unexpected conflict. That's why you've been hesitant. Um, whoever you're dealing with, you need to set boundaries with. This person is a big talker. They're a show-off. Um, childish, immature. You're dealing with somebody that is very argumentative. Um, troublemaker. It feels like you're dealing with a troublemaker here. And I think that's why you're so hesitant. This is somebody that will say anything to get their way. What may even lie. You could be dealing with a liar. Um, I think that you have some bad news. Okay. There's some bad news here. And I feel, and whether you're going to get it this week or you're going to deliver it. And so you, it's like, you just don't want the conflict. You may be trying to avoid conflict by the looks of things. Um, I think that whoever you are dealing with, let me get one more card. You're dealing with somebody that is very combative by the looks of things. Ooh, you're going to be able to handle this person quite well. I think that you're going to be in control. Whoever you're dealing with is immature. You're dealing with somebody that is immature. I think you have some information for them or some news for them. It's not good news. 
To them, it's going to be bad news. And you need to be strong, obviously, with that courage card. You need to be strong. You need to be honest. You need to be upright. I feel like you need to have a conversation with somebody that has been, uh, I don't know, holding you back in some way. They've been causing you some sort of fear. They've been overwhelming you. I don't know what they've been doing, but I think you've been wondering if you should stay or you should go or if you should tell them. My advice is to tell them whatever it is that you got to tell them. I feel like you, um, well, that's what the card said, courage said. You know, I feel like you have some sort of information. It's very truthful. It's very factual. I think that you are sitting in the... Um, authoritative position. I feel like you have the power. You have the you have the um upper hand here. I feel like you have the upper hand. I feel like whoever you are dealing with um let's see. Well, let's take those. Justice and the 3 of swords reversed. Interesting. Whoever you are dealing with um Three of Swords reversed. If I'm not sure if there's some sort of legal implications here. This person may have some sort of um Well, this is very heavy. It's very heavy energy. It feels like there's the law. They have it feels like they are um being held back by the law, whatever that means, I don't understand. The law is involved with whoever you are dealing with. You may have to get the law involved. The law may need to get involved. And you may you may need to express that. You may need to say, well, if we have to go to court or something like that, then we'll go to court. That Those words make, you may have to get the law involved. You may have to go to court to prove something. Okay, and you can prove it. You have all the information you need to prove something about an individual that is very combative, that is unhealthy, that may have some sort of addictions. I feel like you've got somebody around you that is uh, very deceptive. If you think about the devil, the devil is ruled by the shadow, always not as it seems. We have a liar here. We have a manip an enemy. This person is like it's like, a, it's like you're up against the enemy, but I feel like I feel like everything will turn out in your favor. It will turn out in your favor if you uh, keep going and don't give up. You know, don't give up. I feel like wh whoever you you are dealing with, um, I know that three of swords reverse is some sort of forgiveness is needed on the path to recovery. Leaving the past hurts behind. Somebody is going to be overwhelmed by some sort of news that you have. You have some sort of information. I feel like this information is very factual. I think it's going to help you in some way. It's going to help you to break free. It is. It's going to help you to break free from something. But there's some sort of pain involved with that Three of Swords, whether it's upright or reversed. So it's time to leave the past, releasing pain. It's time to leave the past hurts behind and do the right thing for you, even if it means that you are going to be in conflict with other people or another person. I feel like you have a lot on your plate. I feel like you are overwhelmed. I feel like it's time for you to go, whatever that means. It's time for you to do something about it. You know, you have to do something about it. You have to speak up. You have to tell that you have to tell this person what is going or these people what the hell is going on, okay? Um, I feel like you've been procrastinating. You have been procrastinating, maybe because of rejection. Maybe you fear rejection, or you don't want to fight anymore. You know, you don't want this conflict. You're sick of the conflict. Um, but it is time. It is a time of change for you. It's, it is a time of change. I feel like whoever you are dealing with, you will be accepted. This this information, when it comes out, it will be accepted because this is acceptance. Okay? I feel like you may need to be patient with somebody. Okay, somebody may be initially be hurt. They may be hurt by the news that you give them or the information. They may be hurt. They may be overwhelmed. But eventually, with some, some time, they may realize that it's the best option, whatever that means. I feel like uh, 
This is allowing and accepting change. Whoever you are dealing with is going to allow. They are going to accept. They are going to accept something that is revealed by you. Okay? It may take a little bit of time, but they will. I feel like um, there's a need to make some compromises. And um, whoever you are dealing with is probably going to be willing to make some compromises. And it, maybe they're willing to make some compromises, maybe because it's for previous karma or because of the law. You know, maybe there's something to do with the law here or the courts or something like that, that help them to look at things differently or it causes their evolution or causes them to change. Maybe somebody has evolved and they have evolved over poor choices that they've made in the past. You think about that two of wands reverse right above right above it. Somebody is ready to leave the past hurts behind. Maybe they're ready to heal. They're ready to accept something. So I feel like I, I feel like we have an awakening here and I don't even need any awakening cards. I feel like we have an individual that has been in a deep dark place. I don't think it's you. You've been dealing with this individual. You have some information. I think you're gonna be having a conversation I think it's going to be a hard conversation, a difficult conversation. You're going to need to, you're going to really need to be strong. I don't know if it's a child or somebody that you're dealing with that is just immature. Okay. This is somebody that, um, is probably not very healthy. I just got to be honest with you, or you don't want to have a good relationship with this person or, 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 or could even be people. Um, I feel like there's going to be a sudden departure. Or a sudden arrival. Okay, this could have to do with a departure or an arrival or leaving or something like that with the Two of Wands. Um, but it is about leaving the, the past behind. It's time for a change. And I feel like that's what's going on here. I feel like it's time for a change. I feel like you've evolved. You're not the same person. I think you need to be honest and upfront with somebody. Okay? You really... And maybe it's the world because we have the world here. You know, maybe it's time to be honest and upfront about, you know, whatever your plan is. Okay. Um, moving. Somebody's moving. They're moving on. They're moving to a better place. That is moving to a better place. It's leaving the trouble behind. It's, it's going someplace where it's more peaceful. You know, it's, it's taking a ride. It's a time of transition. So I feel like you are transitioning, uh, to a new place okay you're going somewhere you know um and you're wherever you're going it's the right thing to do it is because that justice card wouldn't be here so i feel like i feel like uh you need to be honest you need to be up front you need to speak your truth about wherever it is that you're going you're going somewhere by the looks of things with that six of swords and it has to do with leaving something behind because of the three of swords reversed i feel like it's a pretty quick decision it's a sudden decision but this is this is meant to be okay this is meant to be okay something has ended that has really hurt you okay it's this is the end of suffering because this comes like i always say it comes after the death card all right. It's time. It's time for a change. It's time for a better life. So you are headed towards a better life. You are. But you're going to be having a challenging conversation with somebody before you go there. <laughs> okay. So I feel like this week is, you know, the beginning of that. Everything is going to turn out as it should. Okay, I feel like it's going to go in your favor. Whatever decision is being made, a fair and just decision is going to be made and it is going to go in your favor. Okay, if you're going to court for any reason, it's going to go in your favor. If you end up in court over this situation, it's going to go in your favor. Okay, it's time. It's time for your better life. And I feel like uh, you're headed in that direction. And the beginning is this week. I do feel like you're dealing... There's some sneaky behavior here. Somebody's being very, very sneaky. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Dealing with. Um, you know, that is a very sneaky, sly individual that has something up their sleeve. So it could be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. Looks like somebody is planning to do something. And there's a sword in his hand. His swords resemble communication. Perhaps it's, you know, if it's you, it's time to communicate. It's time to be honest and upfront. Um, it feels like there's, 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 uh, 
a need to adapt, a need to adapt to some sort of change that is happening. And maybe you need to give somebody time to adapt to change. I feel like you've been plotting and planning and it, maybe it's planning an escape of some sort. Um, and if it's not you, it's somebody else. Um, I think you're breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. I do. And I think that you've been planning to do so. And I think this is the week that something gets revealed. Also with the, with the shadow side reverse, the devil reverse. The shadow it hides stuff. The shadow is being removed. So something is being shown. Some sort of truth is about to come out. Okay, this is going to probably cause conflict. Okay, I do believe it's going to cause conflict, but I feel as though you are going to be uh, in the power. You're going to have the power. You're going to be in the position of authority because what you, whatever information is coming out is very factual. It's very truthful. It's very honest. Um, it's going to help to release this this burden you've been carrying. You're going to feel relief. As soon as, as soon as this comes out, it's like, whew, I don't have to hold on to that anymore. Thank that. Thank you, God. You know, it's like, whew, wow. Now you can, now you can just breathe, you know? Um, some of you are taking a journey. You're going someplace, could be even moving, you know? You're moving away from a toxic situation by the looks of things. I think you're going to need to manage your feelings and you may, you, everything happens for a reason. This is a card of, of reason. I also feel like you're protected. Okay. I feel like there's some protection here for you. So I see a sudden change. I see a sudden change that is probably going to make you feel at peace. I feel like you're you're headed towards peace. I do. I feel like peace and harmony is coming to you. But you're going to have a conversation with somebody that doesn't like uh what you have to say. Good luck.